river scene a river there is a beautiful river behind the mountain i heard it from the villagers how far it will be how beautiful it will be fish pebbles rocks butterflies oh i want to taste the river river Mmm. Father and mother are getting ready to go. John? John? Hey John, why aren't you have the breakfast? It's already 8 o'clock. Come inside. Okay, mom. I'm coming. Dear, we are going to visit your grandparents. They are not well. Aren't you coming? No dad, I have to do an a lot of homeworks. Okay, then your breakfast and lunch is on the table. Have it in time and do the homework. Don't go any far. We will be back in the evening. Bye. Okay, bye. I have an idea. This is the right time. I can go to see the river. If I come back before dark, my parents will not know where I had been. Between the boy and the river stood a mountain. The boy was young and the river was small, but the mountain was big. The thickly forested mountain hid the river, but the boy knew it was there. He had never seen the river with his own eyes, but from the villagers he had heard of it, of the fish in its waters and of its rocks. He wished to touch the water and know it personally. He was about 12 years old, a sturdy boy with untidy black hair and shining black eyes. He had fine features with a clear brown skin, but his hands and feet were rough and scratched. Uncle, give me half a liter of milk. Okay, here it is. The boy passed a milkman and asked him how far it was to the river. How much is it? Fifty rupees. Okay, here it is. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Hey boy, hey. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you. What are you? Where are you going? I am going to see the river. To the river? Are you mad? You can't walk there much with friends. The way is so difficult. It's through the forest. But I can walk far. It's not like you think. There is no human habitation on the way. There will be the disturbance of wild animals. 
it will get evening when you come back. But I'm not going back. Okay then, dear. Take care. The boy passed a woodcutter and asked him how far it was to the river. The woodcutter was a short but powerful man with a creased and weathered face and muscles that stood out in hard, ugly lumps. Good morning, uncle. How far is the river? Seven miles from here. Why do you want to know this? I am going to see the river. Yeah, of course. But it is too far. It will take three hours to reach there, and when you come back, it will be getting dark. Besides, it is not an easy way. But I am a good walker. Okay, then get some rest and go. Drink this any day. Hmm. Mild chocolate water is good for thirst and fatigue. So delicious! Thank you, Uncle. Take care and go faster. Then only you get home before darkness. Don't miss the video. Okay, Uncle. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Okay, bye. He had never walked further than the mile from his house to his school. He met a girl who was cutting grasses with her friends. She held a long curved knife with which she had been cutting grass. The bangles she wore made music. It's too late. Let's go. Mommy will scold us. Then hold this and put it on my hand.
sister. How far is the river? Hmm, 20 miles from here. You have to walk 5 or 6 hours. <laughs> Are you talking nonsense? I know, it's less than 10 miles. Sorry, I have never been to the river. Anyway, thank you for your help. The girl had obviously never been to the river or she may have been thinking of another one. A parrot suddenly screeched, flew low over his head, a flash of red and green. A trickle of water came from the hillside and the boy stopped to drink. The water was cold and sharp but very refreshing. However, it seemed to have the effect of making him more thirsty. down the path. Hey, why are you sitting here? We have been walking so long together. Are you alone? I have not yet seen the river. Oh, okay. How far is the river? Just around the next hill and straight down. It's an isolated place. Why are you here? I I have been gazing these gods. You look tired. It is good for tired and heavy. Thank you. Welcome. I'm very hungry. Can we eat something? I have a loaf of dosha. Let's share it. Thank you, dear. Come, let's sit there. Okay. Mm -hmm.
not gone yet. I'm planning to see the river. Will you come with me? I'm sorry, not possible. I have to look after these gods, so I have to go right now. Bye bye. Okay, then take care. He missed the village boy. He could not be seen. His own home was also hidden from view by the side of the mountain. The river was not in sight either. He began to feel discouraged. He was sorry he had finished the bread. He might want it later. He was determined to see the river. He walked on along the hot, dusty, stony path. There were no more fields or huts, only forest and sun and loneliness. Now there was no sign of man or any sign of man's influence, only trees and rocks and bramble and flowers, only silence. The silence was impressive and a little frightening. It was different from the silence of a room or street. It was the silence of space, of the unknown, the silence of God. As the boy rounded a sharp bend, the silence broke into sound, a sudden roaring sound, the sound of the river. Far down in the valley, the river tumbled over. Wonderful! Is it a dream? Finally! I 
these little eagles. I don't feel like going back. Thank God. deep in the painfully cold mountain water and the water was blue and white and wonderful. <laughs> <laughs>